I have also begun to work on the cross slide or table and uh, just uh, clean it up a little bit now and just prove it is flat and lying on the on the surface plate and then I can detect how much wear there is by running the indicator along the length here and the same on the other side and then of course scrape it the needed amount to get it flat to the upper side which is flat onto the table and afterwards I will also do the dovetails on this side the gib or the gib strips or gib blocks uh, comes so, so this is just pristine area here and this one was quite flat only um, a very very minor degree of surface flatness deviation and I'm bearing here a little bit here but here so taking these straight down I think will be do the trick So here I am at the scraping, uh, uh, or I'm about to scrape the wise here. I've just put a <clears throat> small block there to as a riser, and then just carefully mounting this not excess pressure a little bit, and I'm trying to use the the body push method. And then I usually then go, if I go this way, on the outside, not there. Then I just turned it around so that I always go on the outside. At least I've tried that. And I think what I'll do here is I'll begin this, take this blue areas just once, and then do the complete uh, area um, crossing those marks. So we'll try and using this I've uh, ground the blade flat almost flat just a couple of degrees and I'm pushing down like pushing down like with ba both hands and this will produce a uh, minor burr only if I touch and go so if I just try that Doesn't matter to as long this is just rough scraping how the marks are. This is area scraping, so to speak. So I'll do the same here. Okay, and I have one there. And I cross it as I said afterwards, but I just turn it around to get to those to the other side. So I always work on the outside, thereby minimizing the risk of, let's say, crashing into that side. So I had the. Uh, see, if I go like that, I get a burr. intentional really but faulty technique okay now I have a little bit there see those are long and unwary strokes but as long as I'm roughing it doesn't matter now I'll cross it taking the whole surface
I go lengthwise like this because then the, the surfaces are so narrow anyway. And uh, doing it like this, I almost I get no burrs. If you do the touch and go or lift or whatever you call it. And here we have the standard routine. And as you see, I use a cheap sponge paint roller. Wipe off with your hands. Do the same here. Carefully. Hinge the part to see that it is not high in any corners or middle and inches around 30% in. Blue up any way you want, like this. <clears throat> and when you get very near to total flatness, it's getting a bit sticky also. And um, it's quite okay now. And then when you have completed the scraping, or rather in between, you run the an indicator check. And verify that you are within the objective, which in my case was to have it within one hundredth of a millimeter. which I seem to have managed. Okay, then I know that the flats are okay. That's zero there on the corner. And then the indicator To the right, 